joining Clay Chalkful, Lise Quinn, and Julia Petty with our seventh episode of Keeping Up with Clay Chalkful for the 2019-2020 school year. We hope you're all doing well and staying safe during this crazy time of quarantine. Because we can't be at school to film like usual, we had to do things a little differently. In this episode, you'll see a sneak peek into the lives of students as we adjust to life of quarantine. It's getting boring here. Hey guys, it's Zach reporting to you from my house, as you can see here, about life under quarantine. Um, it's definitely been a crazy few weeks with no school and no work. Um, you know, I don't think anyone really expected this or was prepared for it, but uh, this is our lives now. My daily routine has adapted greatly under quarantine, so I'm going to kind of uh, run you through it. Um, never really been a huge breakfast person, but recently I found myself just grabbing a pile of snacks every morning. It, it's not healthy. Um, after that, I try to get most of the important stuff out of the way in the morning, just so I don't have to worry about it. Um, at first, I was running to stay in shape because of track season until, you know, school was canceled. So that kind of um, came to a stop. After the morning, that's when um, all the boredom starts to hit. I've been doing a lot of things to try to keep me busy. Um, one of the big ones, I've been spending a lot of time on guitar, trying to learn new songs and stuff. Other than that, I'm just bouncing back between activities. I'll lay in bed for a while, watch YouTube, Netflix, TikToks. I'll take a nap just because I have nothing else to do. Um, one of the bad things, this isn't healthy either. I've been playing so many video games. my life right now for the time being. Most people have been getting used to doing um, work or school from home now. Um, we've just started that this week. Um, doing school from home, it's not really ideal, you know, it's not what you want, but it it's, it's good in our current situation. I, I prefer having the online school than having nothing to do. It, it gives me a sense of accomplishment, I guess, and like, like I actually did something productive with my life instead of just sit around. Um, it's a big change from, you know, physical school to online work, but I, I'm adjusting to it pretty well, and uh, I just hope the AP tests are, are easier this year. You know, while I was ready to get out of school, most people are, it's just, it's not how it was supposed to end. There were still so many more memories to be made. The hardest one for me though was track season being cut short because it, it was my final year and you know a couple weeks ago was my last track meet ever. It's just not how anyone wanted their high school to end just like that. Hey guys, so it's officially been a week since we've been out of school. Um, it's day seven of quarantine and I'm not gonna lie, I miss going to school. You know, I never thought that I would say that. I was so ready to get out of school actually. I was really stressed for the whole coronavirus thing. And I was just like begging to be out of school, waiting on spring break. But now that we're out, I can't go out. I can't see my friends. Everything is shutting down and I'm running out of things to do. We had to get creative, come up with things to do during this boring time of being stuck at home. But here's how it went. now on quarantine includes sleeping in a lot longer which I'm not complaining about I really did lose a lot of sleep getting up every morning for school and I'd been waiting on this break so now I finally am catching up on my sleep then I will get up I'll eat some breakfast then maybe go out for a walk 
We've been going to Cosby every few days. We walk our dogs, make sure we're all getting exercise because we're cooped up in the house all day. So going to Cosby is probably one of the easiest things to do. You can stay fit, you get to go outside, and you can also easily stay six feet from everybody there and you don't have to worry about anybody sick infecting you because you can stay your distance quite easily and my dogs love it. They've loved us being home so far. They get a lot more attention and they get to go on a lot more walks so it's been good for them especially. Another way I pass the time is Netflix and social media. I've been on my phone probably way more than I should <laughs> during this past week. Also spending so much time with your family can drive you crazy. <laughs> my siblings have gotten very creative in ways to pass the time and we've been spending way too much time together <laughs> and we're about to get sick of each other if we don't get off quarantine soon. <laughs> so we do also have schoolwork to do while we're on break. It's not just a vacation obviously but I have been struggling to get work done because I can't focus as well at home because I'm trying to do anything else really. <laughs> I put off my schoolwork way too much and I see all these posts on Google Classroom. Pretty much all of my teachers have assigned work, but I don't know why it's just the environment. I can just get a lot more work done when I'm at school rather than at home and I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but that has been a struggle for me. Also I'm not crazy about the online sites that we use for schoolwork, including AP Classroom. I really it's really hard for me to use that site and stay focused because it's very frustrating for me just the way that the assignments are but despite all of that we all just need to stay positive and just keep doing what we're doing taking it day by day stay safe stay inside make sure to wash your hands and we're gonna get through this together hi my name is Darius and I'm a senior at Clay Trout for high school and um my day-to-day -day routine really hasn't changed as far as waking up in the morning. I don't really like to lay in the bed all night, so all day, so I go ahead and get up, uh, brush my teeth, wash my face. Um, I eat breakfast. Uh, as far as work, um, I really haven't been having work yet. Um, it's supposed to start early in next month, so we're just seeing how that's going to play out with me going uh, uh doing work from home and going also still going to work at my job. Um, this hasn't really affected me much, only just by it being my senior year in prom and graduation. But for the most part, I've just been staying at the house if I'm not at work, so chilling. Uh, my mom is currently working from home now. And my sister, she also still has to go to work at Sam. Like one of the best things, the best part about this situation is they're, they're still trying to get it under control. So it's just good that they got us at our house, not really going out unless you're going to get food or going to your job. But other than that, you stand at home being safe. Um, I feel like the worst part of this situation is far as they still don't really have a medication for it as far as just being at home, staying away from other people getting them sick. But um, I feel like this is gonna play out as, they're just taking their time day by day, trying to figure out a solution towards it. And I feel like we have no control over it. So just do what you can do, stay home, stay safe, make sure you continue to wash your hands and social distance. Hey Clay Chocolate, my name is Veronica Rowan and I'm currently a senior and I'm about to tell you about my new quarantine routine. So my new routine basically is I wake up at 9.30, um, I sit in my bed, I do any work that has been assigned to me, I look over any link that has been um, sent to me, whether it be optional work or um, resources I can use. Um, I try to talk to anyone. I have um, friends in different parts of Alabama, different parts of the world who I try to converse with. I, I mostly stay in my room because I have everything I need 
in my room except food in my honest opinion I prefer school at home um, it's a much more comfortable environment for me I have all the time in the world to plan out what I need to do I have the opportunity to basically outline that essay write that essay think about what I put in that essay make it a actually good essay I have more time so I can make better quality work the worst thing about the current situation for me is probably the loneliness and also the knowledge that there are people who are dying and it's and it's also and I, I hate to say this but it's like a small selfish like a small selfish part of me is like my senior year has been hijacked by this virus um but at the same time it, like people's death like that makes my senior year totally irrelevant because there's people who won't ever see their family members again because of this virus i'm not affected but someone else is affected not saying that anyone's senior year like any feelings they have about towards the senior year is totally valid but in my mind i can't be sad about my senior year being probably over with because someone's like mom dad sister brother anyone is gone because of this virus the best thing is probably me having the opportunity to take better care of myself. It's been great to feel like I'm making myself like a better person in terms of like growing and becoming self-sufficient. That's the big word is self-sufficient. My whole opinion on how this plays out, well, it's probably really morbid. But I feel like a lot more people are gonna get sick. A lot more, like probably a lot more people are gonna die. Um, because of how fast this virus has spread and how we don't have a vaccine for it. Of course, I know multiple countries are working on a vaccine and I hope, that small selfish part of me hopes I can go back to school and then go to prom and be able to walk across the stage at graduation. But I know I'm just, I'm, I'm telling myself that that probably won't happen. Hi, my name is Emily and I'm going to be answering some questions about um, this quarantine experience that we're having right now. I don't really have a routine right now. It's just been whatever time I wake up and whatever time I go to sleep, which is not very healthy, but that's what it is right now. <laughs> We don't have mandatory work right now, but um, for seniors especially, I know that that's, we're worried about that because we might not get to graduate on time if we don't have any schoolwork to do from now until May. Um, and I don't personally like getting stuff from um, online, like Google Classroom and stuff learning that way. I prefer to be in a classroom. That's just how I learn better. Um, I think it's just being constantly worried. When we had to go to school, there'd be something to distract us from what was going on. But now, since we're home all the time, like, your mind just wanders to thinking like, oh, what will happen to us? Like, the seniors, what will happen to us um, after April 6th? And like, and staying positive throughout this entire thing, it's very hard. Um, I'd say it's spending more time um, with our families and like, just picking up certain things that we didn't have time or we didn't think about before. Um, just resting and um, stuff like that. Like, <laughs> I've had this book since um, I started reading this before school even started, like um, in July or August. And this is how much I've read so far. But I started reading it again today, so.
that's the thing. No one knows how this is all going to play out, but we do better to ease our minds by just trusting God and that he'll um, bring us out of this situation for the better. But yeah, that's it. Bye. Good morning, Clay Talkful. This is Amy Green. Um, this is week two of quarantine, and so far my life hasn't changed completely. Um, I haven't really been able to go anywhere, so I mean, obviously that, but I have still been able to go to work because we're essential. Um, I... I'm still able to talk to my friends through the phone, so it's not like I'm not getting any communication with the outside world. As a senior, I have plans of the future to go to Auburn and be on their color guard and just have a great college life, but due to COVID-19, some of that has been altered. So now, instead of going to Auburn to audition, I have to video my audition for Color Guard and send it in. So that will be Saturday. Um, I'll include some clips from that. The worst thing about this quarantine is the fact that we're not going to be going back to school and I have lost all this time to walk the halls of Clay Chalkful with my friends and just finish out my senior year normally. But the best is that I've just gotten to relax a little bit, like I was pretty stressed before all this, and I'm not saying this is any less stressful, because it's a totally different kind of stress that nobody's ever even thought about, but um, I do get to wake up at like 10 and go to sleep whenever I want, honestly, um, so that really hasn't been the worst thing ever. <laughs> um, I haven't really had a ton of schoolwork sent out to me yet. Um, that should start next week probably, but so far I've just kind of been chilling and going to work. So that's been my day in the life of Amy Green during quarantine. Um, so thanks. Have a great day. <laughs> hey guys, it's Gage and this is my quarantine vlog. My day routine, it's changed a little bit. Like I get up in the morning now whenever I get up and first thing I do is I go out and exercise and I ride my bike. Something I'm doing a lot is trying to lose weight while I have the time to be able to do it. As far as my rest of my day, I just do whatever. I'm watching TV, I'm on YouTube, I'm just doing something to pass off the time. So as far as like the virtual learning, I'm not really affected by it because most of my classes, we use Google Classroom anyway. So I'm just getting all my assignments from there. But one thing that's gonna be hard is that I have two AP exams coming up and I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. So that's gonna be fun. Quarantine is affecting my life, really, because I'm not going to school, but the rest of my family, you know, they've still got work, and, like, my sister still has her online classes at UAB, so it's not that big of a change for us. They are considered essential workers, so they're all going to work still. The worst thing about all of this is, like, they just announced the other day that all schooling is going to be online for the rest of the year, and that sucks because it's taken away my senior year, and I wish they could give me a different outcome, but I understand why they're doing this. They're doing it for our safety. So while I'm sad about that, I am kind of happy that we're kind of having a quarantine break because I needed a break from school and I was looking forward to spring break because I could like de-stress and just do what I needed to do to get ready. As far as this whole quarantine situation, I hope it ends soon because I miss my friends. I want to hang out with these people. But I mean, I also have been able to do things like I'm spending a lot of time with my dogs. I'm getting them trained. They're getting the people that they need to have and that's good for them. And what sucks about all this is that it's the weather has been amazing since we've been under quarantine. It's like we're in school the entire time and it's raining and it's cloudy and it's gray. And then it's been like warm temperatures, sunny outside. It's been awesome and we haven't really, we haven't really been able to enjoy it because of school being closed and us being quarantined. So yeah, that's my video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Good morning, beautiful people. I'm here to talk to you about what's going on with me during this recent quarantine. I know, like many of you, this has been really difficult, but um, I'm not going to let this quarantine discourage me. So lately, I've had to alter my routine. Instead of getting up at like <laughs> 6 o'clock in the morning to get ready for school, I get up a little bit later, like around 8-ish, and I start doing my online work for school. I usually do my school work from about... 8.30 to 12-ish, 
so that I give myself enough time to relax during the day. Being at home while also doing my schoolwork has been a little bit difficult with me, given the fact that I suck with time management. But at the end of the day, it's work that I need to get done, so I'm still do it. When I first found out about the quarantine, I was a little bit skeptical because I didn't know how everything was going to play out. But at the same time, it was only three weeks at that given point in time. So I was like, oh, everything will be fine and then we'll go back to school in three weeks and I'll get to see my friends and we can laugh and talk about what we did through the quarantine and it'll all be fine. But this past weekend, we found out that school was going to be permanently closed for the rest of the year. Um, That really bummed me up because this is my senior year and I was really planning on making some um, awesome memories with my friends and my other peers as we transitioned from high school. I would say the worst thing about this quarantine is that I don't get to be around my peers and I don't get to do fun things outside of the house. But I understand that this quarantine is mandatory. The best thing that came from this quarantine is me being able to reevaluate how I live my life and being able to have more free time and do some things that I wouldn't normally be able to do while I'm in school. I hope that this will all play out in an orderly fashion and that it won't be more catastrophe that comes along from this. But I really hope that Americans and just people in general um, learn the lesson of staying clean and being at home you're supposed to be at home taking time for yourself i hope you all are doing well and continue to just stay aware of what's going around It is day 12 of COVID-19. So here is a glimpse of what I've been doing in quarantine this past two weeks. My routine during quarantine has been very different because I get to stay in and sleep in late. But usually when I wake up, I usually go to the kitchen, make breakfast or whatever. I would go read a book on what pad and listen to music until I find something else to do. I've been really into baking this break. I've made cookies, I made brownies, and I I just made cinnamon rolls from scratch just the other day. I've been helping my mom. She be doing a project in her bathroom. We're gonna reno- we're gonna renovate the whole bathroom. Like we're taking the wallpaper down. We're gonna repaint it. We're just gonna redo the whole bathroom. So it looks completely different at the end. During this break, I've also been helping my sister babysit my niece Michaela. Yes, Hi. We've been learning how to make new TikToks, and she's been helping me bake. And she's been just a really good help around the house. And Uno, Netflix, and um, my Xbox has been my best friends during this break because I usually, I usually don't have time to play those during school because I usually have homework and either I'm going to work. But since COVID-19 happened, I've had plenty of times to play Uno with my mom and go downstairs to play the Xbox to either catch up on some shows that I haven't watched recently on Netflix. COVID-19 has really affected my life because during the spring break, I was supposed to take a trip there are two Six Flags and go to the fair. I had a lot of fun stuff planned, but all that had to get canceled. Um, after graduation, I was supposed to go on a cruise in June, but that also got canceled. We don't know where we're gonna go back to school. We don't know if we're gonna have a prom. We don't know anything about graduation. We have to go to school longer. We don't know anything at this point, so it's really affecting my school life and daily life. So we've been quarantined for about two weeks now for COVID-19 and I'm going to show you what my days normally look like.
So when I wake up, it's normally around like one because I'm a super night owl and I really don't like to go to sleep early unless it's for school. And now that we don't have school, I don't have to wake up early. <laughs> I normally make coffee and here recently I've been making smoothies and just cooking because we can't really get out of the house to like go get breakfast like we normally do. So I've been cooking a lot recently. We've been having a ton of like game nights and just watching movies with my best friend Tiffany. Bring you back? That's not running a hospital. You paged her to your office to try and dress us. You paged her again today for that. <laughs> My life has changed a lot from the coronavirus, like just school in general being shut down for the rest of the year and there's not a graduation for the seniors, but they're going to reschedule everything, but there's no telling like how long that will take or when all of this is going to be over with, which is the really scary part about all of this. Now that Color Guard, we were supposed to have tryouts a couple weeks ago, but then we didn't have school, so there's no telling like what we're going to do about that and just school in general for next year. Like there's no set thing that we're going to do yet. The coronavirus hasn't really affected my family as much as it has other families to where they lose their jobs or where they just don't know what they're going to do, which I'm very thankful that it hasn't affected my family as much as others. There's not much good things coming out of this. Like, I know a ton of people will say, like, we get more sleep and stuff, but that's really the only good thing about it. Even in Jefferson County right now, there's 200 cases, like, the last time that I checked, and that's crazy. Like, right now, I'm not at my house. I'm at the beach, which is really good, even though it's closed, but just the view in general is really good. Everything, like, in the coronavirus has just happened so fast. Like, no one knew what to do, and, like, everything was just oh, we'll do this, we'll do that, but no one really knows what to do. They're just trying to like do everything that's best, even if other people don't agree with what they're doing. I'm just scared how this will all play out because we really don't know when it's gonna end, like I said. Like, there's no telling when we're gonna go back to school or if we're gonna go back to school or if it's just gonna keep spreading and spreading. I just feel bad for like all of the people that are suffering from this right now and there's no really cure to it since it's a virus which is really terrible, but I just want everybody to be safe. All right, so over the break, I've just been working out, playing the game, trying to stay eating healthy and all that stuff. So I'm gonna show you my workout plan, and then I'm gonna show you what games I'm playing. I'm gonna record me cooking all this stuff, and let's get to it. When I do every workout, besides the sprints, I do 10 sprints. When I do every other workout, three sets, 10 reps. Everything, no exceptions. At least 10 reps. For our first stop, I'm gonna show you all the hills that I have to run. I'm gonna be running with this parachute. And yeah, let's get it. Next on the list, we're gonna hit some tire flips and hit it with the sledgehammer. And then I'm probably gonna do some in and outs too. Tire, hit tire with the sledgehammer, on and off flip. Now we're gonna do bag throws, fireman's carries, and probably do a superset with push ups too. Let's go. Do farmers carries a 135 and super set with push ups. Let's go.
that's how I work out. Alright, out of the shower. Finna show y'all what I'm finna go eat. Check it out. Now that we had our meal, time to play the game. The games that I play are Ghost Recon, Apex, Fortnite, 2K, and Warzone. This is my life with quarantine. I don't have any problems going from home. Everybody in my house is fine. No family member sick. Just chilling. And I'm fine, I guess. Alright, I'll see you guys next year. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Julia Petty, and this is a day in my life quarantine edition. <laughs> about 17 days since we've been at school and honestly my daily routine has changed a lot from when I was actually going to school. I have my alarm set for 9 o'clock but usually I hit snooze a few times and it ends up being 10 or 10 30 before I even get out of bed. Um, after breakfast what we've been doing most recently is working in our backyard. We built the pond last fall but during fall I play sports and my older brother plays sports and both my parents work a lot so we really had to put a pause on it because we didn't have time to work on it. And so during this quarantine, we've really been wrapping it up and getting all the final touches put on it. Another thing I've been doing every day is going for a ride and like taking my dogs with me because um, it's my really one thing I look forward to every day is just getting out of the house and I've been just exploring around Leeds. One thing that has been really hard during quarantine is adjusting to schooling um, online. I'm at AP Lang right now. We still have our AP tests coming up in May, so our teacher's really been helping us as much as we can prepare, even though she can't be here with us and like teach us everything that we need to be taught because it's hard to do everything online. Um, but our teachers are doing our best and that's all we can really hope for. Another really bad thing about quarantine is how bored I am constantly. I get bored really easily anyways. And so being stuck in the house all day is not fun for me. One thing that I've been doing to pass the time is puzzles for some reason over this break quarantine thing I have gotten really into puzzles and I've done like four already my family has also been playing a game or watching a movie every night which kind of gives you something to look forward to at the end of the day and it kind of switches up and keeps everything interesting while we're just sitting at the house all day uh, being in quarantine is really weird and it didn't really hit me that this was actually happening until they just recently announced that we wouldn't be going back to school at all this year um, at first, I wasn't in denial, but I just, it's so weird to me that this is like really happening right now. It just sounds like something out of a movie. Some of our classes are using some website and we're all gonna have like online meetings where we can all talk to each other, which I'm really excited for because I haven't talked to some of them in a long time and it'll be nice just to catch up. And I really miss my teachers and yeah, I just can't wait for this quarantine to be over and for everything to go back to normal. Hi everyone, my name is Lauren Waters and this is my day in quarantine. First thing I did today was say hello to my dog because he woke me up. Um, then after that, I walked to the kitchen and said hello to my mom. She's working from home now, so she's taken over the kitchen. After that, I went to the living room and watched some Gilmore Girls. Usually it's been the office, but today Gilmore Girls. Here's some backstory as to why I had to get my hair cut today. So last night I cut my hair because I felt impulsive, but it was very choppy so my mom had to fix it. Um, then it was all straight and I really liked it. And then I went on a walk with my dog who is very excited. He's always very excited to go outside, except he hates being outside and he's lazy so I don't know why he gets so excited. It's spring, so we went outside, looked at our plants. For some reason, my banana plant decided that it was gonna just ditch its old body and grow an entirely new one. The old one is very disgusting. So, um, then we started our walk. My street's a circle, so we walked the entire circle, and for some reason, he really likes to sniff this one spot, and we're respectful, so we sit and wait. While he sniffs then we kept on walking for a good while then he got tired so I picked him up and 
walked in the rest of the way. I told you he's lazy. So a couple of hours have passed and I forgot to vlog some, but this is right before dinner. I made some brownies and um, I put extra chocolate chips, which is not a good idea because it made me sick later. Anyways, after that, I was stirring my mom's mac and cheese, had some pork chops, some veggies, some mac and cheese for dinner. It's very delicious. Then me and my family started this show about Jewish people. There's some special kind of Jewish people. I don't really know what it's called. Eat my taco socks. Yup, love those. Okay, anyways, after that I watched uh, TikTok for a couple of hours and then I went to sleep. I hope you and your family are staying safe and healthy and staying home. Bye. I'm Cameron and welcome to my life. So I just woke up, sort of, and now I'm going to brush my teeth and wash my face. Either lay back down, go out. I usually go to work. Ooh, yeah. Ready, boo, Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Visit Norman. Visit Dwight. Simple. It's hard doing school at home because. I barely got it when I was in school, so I'm going to have a hard time getting it now. Even though it's, it's something that we've covered, that doesn't mean it's easy. Get my schoolwork done. Just use Google Classroom, paper, and the links they leave. And just write them out. Watch YouTube videos on what we have and attempt to turn it in. I feel like people are taking this whole thing too far, the COVID-19, the coronavirus. Like, in my opinion, it's really not that deep. Yes, people are dying, but it's never like that deep. And I'm not trying to sound harsh or anything, but people, based off what I learned in history class, people are starting to take the steps that were taken back then that made them go into the Great Depression. So people just relax, calm down, it's not serious. Well, serious, but it's not real serious. Where it's gonna mess you up. Just relax and stay calm, like moi. My life hasn't really changed. I still go to work, still doing school work, still laying in the bed. So it's pretty much the same. Just can't physically go places that I used to always go to. They're coming back on hours. People can't go to work. So it's kind of iffy. The worst thing about this situation, personally, I would have to say not being able to do the stuff that we do. We usually were able to do, like go out, get in groups more than 10. We can't even, what, what if the family is just a big family and it's 10 of us? Can't even have nobody over. Dang. Stuff is on sale. Stuff is, prices are going down for stuff. Like, it's really awesome. Hey, this is Jillian. So, my daily routine of being in quarantine is pretty much just involves me doing nothing, honestly. This quarantine has affected my family a little bit, but not in a bad way. Um, it kind of ruined my spring break plans along with my birthday plans. But I still ended up having a pretty good birthday. Um, one thing I definitely don't like about this quarantine is I'm not really able to see any of my friends, so that kind of sucks. Hopefully this whole thing will play out by someone either finding a cure or finding something to stop the virus from spreading. My reaction to the virus was just that it spread it really fast. My life hasn't changed much from it. 
Most days I wake up pretty late and also go to bed really late. I really just wake up, make breakfast. Um, then have snacks like throughout the entire day, take mini naps, um, and just chill. Watch Hulu, Netflix, things like that. I scroll through social media a lot. And I also go outside to be active. To get my assignments, I pretty much just get them from Google Classroom and checking my Remind app. My reaction to the quarantine is that it just honestly sucks. I don't really like being stuck at home and not really able to go anywhere. Hi, my name is Adriana Colvin and welcome to the day in my life of quarantine. It's 7 and we're on our way to Nashville to get our car looked at because Tesla is still open. You know they're too bougie for quarantine, so yep, that's where we're going. We just got to Athens and we're at the supercharger. So mom has her glove on because we're in quarantine, you know? So yeah, here's my car. You can see it, we got Chick-fil-A right there. Yeah. So we made it to Tesla, if you can't tell, but our car is getting realigned and we have three hours. So yeah. It's now four hours later and we got the car. And they even put it on the charger for us. So yeah, now we'll be good to go back home because nothing's open. Okay, we made it to Athens and we just visited with my mom's friends. And yes. now we're on our way back. And it says we will get home at 6.24. Of course, we were six feet apart now. Remember that? Yeah. Yes. We went home and we were making some tater tots and some corn dogs because frozen food is it right now. And I'm also home with Zozo who won't look at the camera because she's too busy being spoiled as usual. So, yeah. Just got out of the shower and now I'm going to go to bed here in an hour or two because it'll be 10, 11 o'clock. And I'm the grandma of the group because most of my friends go to bed at like 1 or 2 a.m. So yeah, so it was definitely a different day in quarantine because usually I don't go anywhere and if I do, I stay in my car all the time. But yeah, it's definitely been a different day. So tomorrow we'll be back to Google Classroom for AP Lang, so. That's what my day looks like, so peace out. So my whole routine, living like a teenager has completely changed. I don't wake up early anymore. I stay asleep. I stay, I stay asleep at least, to about at least 10 o'clock. And then, and after that, all I do is watch TV. I, I sleep, I eat. And I just have to like find ways to entertain myself throughout the day. Cause if I don't, I'm just be bored and I can't do that anymore. I've been so bored over these two weeks. It don't make no sense. And we still have schoolwork that we got to do. It's just so much going on in one time. It's, it's, it's kind of overwhelming, but other than that, I just have to find ways to entertain myself. I think doing this uh, online school thing is going to be terrible. I just think it's going to be really bad. I think I'm going to like really miss school. Just getting up every day, having something to do, is going to be way better than getting up, not knowing what you're going to do that day, and you still having work to do. So it's just going to be a lot. I think that that the rest of this the rest of the school year is going to be pretty hard. Especially for for the seniors, you know, they're going through a lot. But I think that everything that we that we're gonna like gonna go through over the over the rest of these what three months, I think it's gonna be very crazy. I don't know how it's gonna work at all. I just I don't know. I wouldn't say that my life has changed drastically, but I can say that it has changed. I mean like I still try to go outside. I try to um, smell the fresh air. I go out there and walk and stuff. But other than that, 
Um, I, it's still it's still hard because just with my mom being sick and stuff, I gotta make sure the house is clean. People coming in and out the house, coming to check on the stuff, just make sure they don't bring nothing in. I have to keep cleaning and keep washing stuff down. This whole quarantine situation, I would say that it, it has affected me good and bad just because I know that at some point, at some point this all has to come come back together and everything has to come back right. But I would say it has affected me bad because um, because I, I really do, I just feel really bad for the seniors, you know, what they're going through right now. Um, but another thing is knowing that I saw this, I saw this article where uh, Donald Trump was saying where this could last till July or August and July is my birthday month, you know, it's just, it's just crazy knowing anything could go wrong at any point in time. Um, but I'd say it's affected me in a good way just because I get like more rest, I get more sleep. Um, and that's really about it. But I really don't know how this like this whole thing is gonna play out, but hopefully that um, that it all comes back together because I kinda wanna go back to living a normal life and not staying at home all the time. Um, I don't like being bored. I need something to do at all times. It's currently day something. I lost count, honestly. Um, being quarantined in my house has been good and bad at the same time. It's ruined my routine of waking up and going to sleep. I go to sleep at 12 in the morning and I don't wake up until 7 in the morning. Um, it really hasn't impacted my family, really. Like, we see it as not hurting us for real we still go to the store to get food i mean we haven't really like bought a lot of things like everybody else is doing because we already had toilet paper and we already had a lot of food in our fridge and our cabinets so it really didn't bother us really the only thing that i don't like about being quarantined in my house for weeks now is not seeing my friends and not going over my friends house to stay over i currently had to cancel my plans to spend the night and it kind of hurt me because I haven't seen that friend in a really long time. Also, we were supposed to go to Tennessee for spring break, but currently I'm in here just staying in my room. And it's been really hot outside considering it's springtime and stuff like that. And I have a lot of schoolwork to do, but Google Classroom is like, it usually works for me when we're actually in school, like the next day we'll go to school. But now that we're like, not in school it's like I have to email my teacher to ask him a question and me being myself I'm a visual learner like I have to see something to like understand it and what I'm saying in Google Classroom is not really helping I'm supposed to write an argument essay and do a presentation on my favorite Pixar movie and it's not working out like I give up every time I type and I'm like what am I doing so currently I'm struggling for real um, but other than that, I think the quarantine will just go away, like, in a few months. Probably it may take a year, but honestly, we may never know. I just think it sucks that a lot of things are getting canceled. Like, at my church, the mother-daughter banquet got canceled, which I was looking forward to. The theme was Paris, and I already found a dress for it, but you know, it's whatever. So, it... All I do is just stay at home and sleep and eat and repeat. Sometimes I take my brother to work, but other than that, I don't leave the house. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching this special episode of Keeping Up with Clay Chalkboard. Make sure to stay safe and stay six feet apart.